Hello beautiful and magnificent beings. Welcome to this week's Soul Soothing Sunday. And today we are working with and welcoming Archangel Metatron. So if you know what you like to work on, let's go ahead and set an intention. If you don't have anything specific, that's okay. You can just be open to receive what you need. Go ahead and set the intention. Three, two, one. And it has been released. Welcoming the presence of all that is. Reiki masters, ascended masters, spirit and animal guides. Specifically welcoming, requesting Metatron to come in and assist in the session to help everyone that is watching and however they need it. For the well-being of all and our highest good. And so it is. Okay, so I am using this deck again, but next week I found an amazing new deck I'm going to be switching off on. I can't wait to share it with you. And so starting with the first angel message, we have manifestation. Okay, so this message is to let you know what you've been working on you're very close to some of you have been going through the motions and you've been feeling a little stressed out a little frustrated because it hasn't happened yet and the angels want you to know hang in there don't give up you're so close and believe me, I know how frustrating this can be, especially when we want something, we want it now, and it doesn't always work that way. But a lot of times in the end, when we get it eventually, we're usually very thankful that we didn't receive it when we originally wanted it. I would say 99% of the time. So they're saying, be calm, relax, Get your bearings, ground yourself, stay focused, eyes on the prize. Don't give up. Keep watching for synchronicities and breadcrumbs because that's how we often know we are on the right path. The universe always lets us know. Hashanihiniyatai entiyaye hushkuntui anahanaye kukukuyishtui Hanati. Let's see what the next message. Intention and downloads. Okay, so this this is something that's always going on, but sometimes I've noticed, especially with the shifts in the earth, um, certain times of the year we are more prone to receive this and the universe wants you to know just to be aware of it this is happening this has been going on for a while this might be new to some of you but this is um, a lot to do with our spiritual awakening process becoming more what's the word i'm looking for not grounded but just aware of our power of who we are what we came here to do seeing through all of the falsity falsity is that a word the false things that are going on in the world right now there's so many distractions so many things that are trying to take up your time and your attention so be very careful who and what you share your energy with and i feel like a lot of these uh, this intuition and these downloads coming in are going to help us to see better, more clearly, to feel it, um, expanding on our clairs, just becoming more awakened, more in control, not just giving our power over or allowing things to happen, being more aware in control and seeing it being in it but not of it, I think is the common 
the common phrase. And the next message, surrender, yes. We can never hear this enough. <laughs> I mean, it's good for me. I need to hear this from time to time as well. So just surrender, calm down, relax. Let the angst go, let the stress and the worry, just let it go. Even if it's just for five minutes, a little bit, it'll still be there for you if you decide to go back and pick it up and carry it. But it's so heavy. The universe wants you to know, let it go. It's safe to surrender, to trust. And again, with the intuition and those downloads, it's going to help us so much. And that also helps with our manifestations. I feel like a lot of us are getting uh, in a place where it's becoming easier to manifest than it's ever been. We're learning to trust that guidance, that support. And our next message on the communication. Look at all that pink, high heart energy. Okay, so there's something going on, whether this is about being honest with yourself or with somebody else. Um, clearly, this is very important the communication, the honesty. Something be spoken, something needs to be shared. Again, it could be with a person or people, or this could be just about yourself. Being open and honest, communicating clearly with yourself and with the universe. Yeah, It is safe to be honest. It is our truth. It's who we are. We're meant to be our natural truth selves. It's time to release and let go of those masks. It's time to show the world yourself, your true face, your truth, your beauty. <sighs> the inner and outer glow up. And our last message, joy and contentment. You know what? As long as I've been using this desk deck for several years now, this card has never come out. And I just love those colors. Hopefully they'll show up. Those greens, purples, and yellows. Like you don't see those colors together that often, but they just really pop for me. So joy and contentment in the moment, taking time to appreciate ourselves to appreciate each other. I appreciate you so much for being here and all that you do for me. I appreciate, I appreciate this body. I'm so grateful for this present moment. There's always so many things to be thankful for and just celebrating joy, celebrating life. Even times that don't always feel so good, there is always something amazing come out of that experience. Hashahana hendukataye. Nothing wrong with wanting more, but at the same time, just take time again, appreciating and just feeling content. You know, do you have a roof over your head? Do you have food in your refrigerator? Do you have clean water? Well, most of the time we do. <laughs> um, just being joyful and happy and content and just appreciating that instead of the constant go 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 do 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 and i love that that came out too this is this time of year this is a time for harvest time you know to reap what we have been sowing take time to celebrate you know remember how our ancestors you know the indians how they would celebrate how you know our ancestors would celebrate every year they would they would have some sort of celebration and gratitude for the harvest for the food that they had for the winter can you imagine living like that everything counted on that food imagine how much grateful you would those people were than we are today for that food because they had to have that to get through the winter to survive 
So joy and contentment. It feels so good just taking a moment to put your hand on your heart and being grateful for the simplest little thing to the most extravagant and everything in between. Life is beautiful. Life is amazing. I am so happy to be, be here now. Hashanini hatati ayastana diaye. Closing out session. Thank you so much for joining me today, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this session and received all the benefits. If you haven't yet, I know you will. Just be patient. Again, the very first card manifesting, it's all happily working for you. Just being patient, taking time, giving gratitude. Thank you so much for being here today. I pray every one of you so very much and all the wonderful things that you do for me and for this channel. I cannot thank you enough. And I am just so grateful because all of you helped me get and to spread this message. So thank you so much. Until my next until my next video, highest blessing infinite gratitude. Satnam.